welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making just a good old southern vegetable and that is some fried okra. Uh, you can't go to uh, any restaurant really around um, our parts that don't sell fried okra. Some people will say, oh my gosh, I can't eat that stuff. It's slimy. But if you had it cooked right, honey, it is some good stuff. This is actually one of Russell's favorite vegetables. Um, I know it's fried and all that good stuff, but um, this is something that he will always choose no matter what restaurant we're in. <laughs> this is what he's going to get as his side and that's some fried okra. So I have um, washed my okra, cleaned them, dried them, and I have cut them in about a um, half inch pieces. Um, I should have waited and showed y'all that but you just snip both ends off and just slice it and um, i'm going to be mixing up my dry ingredients and some wet ingredients i'm going to put about a cup of buttermilk because we want these uh we want this bread to stay on um i don't know if you've ever uh just made okra and the the uh, bread part just falls off it's floating in the floating in the pan it's all over the place beside itself well uh, i figured out um a while back buttermilk is the trick to this so i'm going to go ahead and just pour this uh, okra into this buttermilk and let it start soaking just uh let it get happy in here we want it all to get wet so that uh that those uh pieces will keep their bread and it's gonna be good i'm just gonna give it a little toss here then i'm gonna start uh mixing up my wet ingredients i've got my oil on back here getting hot you want to get um you want to have your oil at about 350 350 degrees so i've got my little thermometer there i'm gonna do all the things y'all trying to show y'all how i do it um, otherwise I just throw it in there and just whip it up I don't ever check nothing but I'm gonna do it today I'm gonna uh, try to be good and um, for some of you that have never made this dish or really won't turn out good so I've got this wet now let's get our wet uh, dry ingredients mixed up all right a little okra's in this little buttermilk bath just uh doing the backstroke just just getting all happy on this now i've got a cup of all-purpose flour we'll dump that in there now i don't have a whole lot of okra today i'm i'm just gonna be honest uh it is not in yet and um the grocery store was very limited but um i did get some so let's just hope it's all good so i've got a cup of all-purpose flour and about a half a cup of cornmeal and i'm gonna mix this around let's see I didn't have myself together. And then I'm gonna season this because you want your flour to be really seasoned. We're not gonna be seasoning that okra. It's all the seasoning is gonna be right in this flour. So do about a teaspoon of onion powder. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of garlic powder, of course. Just a little bit of accent. You can use that or not. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of, instead of just regular salt, I'm going to put just a little bit of the um, Lowry seasoned salt um, for my salt, just so it has more flavor. I'm not going to get crazy with it. Now, I always add a little cayenne pepper. And this does not make it hot. It's just going to give it some flavor. I do about a half a teaspoon of that and a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm just going to mix this all around, get that seasoned up. Now I've got my oil back there hot. I had to actually slide it to the side because it was getting too hot. It's like, oh, I don't want to burn it up. So we got this all mixed up here. Now... we're just going to be transferring this okra into this flour dropping it in some oil and uh, you'll see how quick it uh 
how quick it cooks too. So let's drop this okra and get it going. All right, we're just gonna get this okra in here, in this flour mixture. Give it a roll around in this flour. It's kind of hard to do with this fork. This so we're gonna drop it generously in there. And I don't like to crowd the pan too much. All right. And I'm gonna just drop them in with my fingers. It's a talking to us, it's sassy. That oil is sassy. You don't want to put but about um, a half of a half of um, pot of the oil. You want it to be able to float around though. And I'm not doing a whole lot of okra because it's just me and Russell. So um, I'm not going to be doing that many of them. I'm not getting them in there fast enough. They're going to town. Yep. I'm not getting them fast enough. They cook really quick, too. And they'll float when they're done? Mm, they will float all around anyway. Yep. yep. You don't want to put them in there just all clumped up together, looking like one big hot mess. And then the be little individuals be their own best self. Now, I'm going to take this, and I've got a dirty hand, I know, but it's all right. Just going to give it a little stir like so. See how it's looking? Yeah, so that's the looking. I hope my... um. My oil, Lord, I've made a mess. I hope my oil is not as hot. I turned it down, it's piping hot, so there's that. While those are cooking, I'm gonna put some more in this flour here. It's really simple, y'all. It does not take a lot to do some fried okra. Like I said, you will see this in every restaurant around our neck of the woods, won't you, Russell? Yep. One of his favorites. Yeah, it's up there, isn't it? Yes, it is. One of your favorites. Now, I'm just going to spread this out here on this paper towel. You can put it on a little grid if you want to instead of the paper towel. Um, if you're not going to be eating it right off, you don't, the paper towel might make it a little soggy, so you can put it on a little grid. But that's what it's looking like, y'all. And I have the rest of these to make, but this is what we got so far. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's going, are you going to do it? Oh, he's going to do it. He's going to taste it now, y'all. He's going to cheat. Well, sometimes. Yeah, but... He's just got to make sure it's okay. He don't want it to... You know how I said I always told the kids, oh, let mama taste that. Make sure it's all right. <laughs> I think that's safe. I think we're good. Oh, yeah. Got enough salt. I'm going to tell you, it's hard to beat fresh okra. It really is. Um, like Rhonda said, it's one of my favorites. It I mean, is. Absolutely favorites. It really is. I could just make a meal out of okra. Uh -huh. I don't have to eat nothing else. I... No. It's good with anything. I mean, you can put anything beside uh, some fried okra. Barbecue. I mean, whatever. Roast. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> Even as a cameraman snack. Yes. Okra is perfect. Good old okra. Yeah. We used to watch uh, Jerry Clower, the comedian. And um, he joked about eating so much okra growing up because, well, if you grow it, I'm telling you, it'll just grow and grow. I had some in my garden about two years ago, 
And I mean, it was November and that stuff was still growing. We still are cutting it. But anyway, he said he ate so much okra that uh, he couldn't keep his socks up. <laughs> that used to be his little ongoing joke about his okra. Because uh, I told you, people think it's slimy. You tell I know. Well, I'm not no young chick. I'm old. I'm an oldie. He was a good to me. He was. He was. But uh, I remember just laughing about that. Now, I personally love okra any kind of way. I like it boiled. I like it in soups. I like it whole. But um, Russell does tend to like the fried okra because he don't. He's one of those that don't love the sliminess of it. I'll eat it. Yeah, but you don't. don't yes, love yes. Like that. I'll eat it, but it's not yeah, my yeah. He. This is the way he prefers it. And um, if you got a cooking channel on Southern food. This you is, have, you gotta have, it's you gotta have, have some fried okra. You just gotta have some fried okra. It's a must. I don't know, Um, obviously we've never lived in the north, up north or anything, so I don't know, how do y'all, do y'all fry okra? Do you uh, eat it this way? Is it just as, uh, just as popular up your way, this way? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, let us know in the comments. Curious. Yeah. It's, like I said, it's, it's, south. That's, this is, it's just a staple. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You don't eat over in the south, you might be in trouble. Look at that. Golden, crispy little, little okra nuggets. Mm. Yes. Oh. You can even fool the children sometimes because they think it's something like a chicken well, nugget. Hey, I'll get creative with some okra. I'll get <laughs> some okra and put gravy on it. Yes, he likes it. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'll eat okra all sorts of ways. I really it is. It's good actually in like a little um, aioli sauce too. I've had like a little mayonnaise aioli sauce mm -hmm. with it. It yeah, is, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's good. I ain't uh, mad at it, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, we like we like it. But I do, I enjoyed it any kind of way you give it to me. I'll eat it whole and boiled and you get it near me fresh out of some grease, I'm not gonna be <laughs> I got a little salt. I had to Yeah. I had to have me a taste. Now this was only about um I think I counted the pods. It was only about ten pods. Um like I said, okra has not come in yet. And so um when it comes in, you when it comes it. in uh, ain't nothing better. Really, it is. I even will eat it raw. I'm telling you, I get that. I had it pickled too, man. That's good. Uh -huh. really pickled okra. Pickled yes. Okra or not. Or if that's the thing, you know, the whole stalk to okra. Oh, it's good. good. It really is good. Yeah. I think they, uh, I mean, the grocery stores sell that everywhere. Yeah. Well, I like it. Uh huh. Good old pickled okra. Now my um, flour's starting to get a little gummy, but it's all right. You can add some more to it. But um, this is how she's looking, y'all. How she's looking. Uh huh. I can't wait to get in full fledged into this one, y'all. Now it does make a mess. Lord, look at my stove. That's for my hand up here. It's just cooking with your heart. It's cooking with your heart. I ain't worried about it. I'm going to be the doing the one cleaning it. So <laughs> if I want to mess it up, that's that's what I'm gonna do. Got to get in there with your hands too. I guess you can use some gloves and such, but mm, 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 mm. break it all yeah, up. Just floating around, yeah, floating around, y'all. It does not know what's about to happen to it. And you just wanted a golden brown, just a golden brown. And those little uh, edges, y'all, are just a little crispy. Ooh -wee. The crumblies. Crumblies, yes. The crumblies is good mm. stuff. Y'all. Oh. So good. Well, I'm going to finish frying these few little ones up here, and then Russell will really get Ooh, to taste it all. Turn, I can't wait. It'll be his turn. He can uh, get him a little plate of it. So. I can't wait. Alrighty. Alright, y'all. This okra is ready. 
And um, this is the amount that has survived. <laughs> Go on, Russell. He has already been sampling. Let's just say we've been uh, just a tasting one hey, here. And there. <laughs> so, <laughs> this Most is what's left. Time, I wait to give y'all my honest opinion. Every time Every he normally time. does. He normally does. But this okra is probably in my top three things of food that I like to eat. Fried okra. He loves it. I mean, talking about whispering sweet nothings. This over here. Yeah, I, come I, on, yeah, it was speaking to me. <laughs> you know, golden brown and all crunchy. It's I, hot I just, uh, right out the pan. I was having a hard time, y'all. She's like, "You gonna eat all that before we get to I the end?" I picture with <laughs> it, was, it was just a little sample y'all it was just a little sample now tell them how you like yours yeah i, I was saying earlier i'll put gravy on it which i will i'll i'll, I'll go I'll, I'll eat okra any all kind of way mm -hmm. but we eat wings a lot yes. and uh, from a restaurant here and uh i love to eat okra is like my side with my mm -hmm. wings and just Dip it in the ranch, like French fries or whatever, you yes, know. Yes, like with his wings. My wings yeah. go in the ranch and, and the fried okra. And this, listen, y'all. I don't know if y'all ever tried this or not, but let me tell y'all something. Some fried okra. Don't knock okra it till you try it. It is really good. And ranch. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Y'all. <clears throat> the kiddos even eat that. I'm telling you. They'll think it's nuggets have or something. They're a little dip dip. <laughs> They're a little dip dip. Yeah. Uh huh. I could just keep on eating and let her talk. And, you know, let her wrap all the video up. <laughs> Cause that's what's about to happen, y'all. You know? It's it's hot and fresh and I'm telling y'all, it is good. There ain't nothing better. I'm telling you. So good. Uh, your little ones are picky about eating. They mm -hmm. won't even know this is okra. I'm telling you, it tastes so good. They'll think it's French fries. I'm telling you, they, they uh, get them a try. Yeah, get them a try. Get them a little dip dip, they'll be ready to go. <laughs> Yep. Anyway, a little bit. It's one of my favorites, y'all. I'm telling it you, really I love is. me some fried okra probably as much as anything just about that I that I like to eat. But. Yeah. I told him it's always your choice. If we go into somewhere, it's gonna be his side. Yeah, it's always I love gonna it. be his side. I love it. And yeah. I, I don't mind it even if when in the in the winter when it's frozen. I'll eat it any old kind of way. Yeah. I don't I don't uh it's better fresh, obviously. Always right, better yeah. fresh out the garden, but I don't think we ever get it frozen out there. Not a whole lot, but you know, right. you can go to restaurants and stuff in the, yeah. in the winter and you, yeah. can't, um, you can't always get it fresh. They don't always compare, but um, yes, fresh is always really good. Don't that take good. but a minute to slice them yeah, up. Easy, to, easy. don't so, take long. This is a really quick side. Mm -hmm. And it's delicious. Huh? That will go with anything. Yeah, it will. Or stand alone. <laughs> yeah, it's about to be a meal because I'm about to tear into this thing, I'm telling you. No, well, I already done been into it, y'all. He's ain't not try, been into ain't it. gonna try the story. I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they was worried about what like, we gonna have crumbs, enough. Like, <laughs> 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 I had to check, boy, I don't care. I ain't got no crumbs. Uh, go got an okra seed in your tooth, baby. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Oh my! I mean, anyway, it is really good. That's how I love it. I ain't, I, you know, yeah. I'm crazy about me some okra. I love he it. is. You gonna be in the south? You better learn how to cook some okra. For, you know. It's a, a staple for us to eat. It's good stuff. It's yep. good, it's good, it's good. But anyway, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching us and um, for um, all of your support. Yeah, give this okra a try. That's a delicious yep. recipe of it right there. Yeah, Miss Karen, I got on you a little. I'm still yeah, loving, loving, loving my, uh, my little apron she here. She told everybody we had our family come in. Her family came in. I didn't show just, them all y'all. Come here, come let me right show you. That's what I got. <laughs> Took she them to my very, rack. Very, very proud of it. Very. I am very proud of it but yeah. anyway y'all thank y'all so much um, i will quit rattling on but um until next time